Congratulations on receiving Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This is our What Now card. Just some practical ways uh, to grow in your faith, to learn more about Christ. Number one, read your Bible to learn more. Start with the Gospel of John in the New Testament. Hear about the life of Jesus, the ministry of Jesus, um, the miracles that he worked, his uh, life, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. That's the key to the Gospel. Pray to your Heavenly Father. You can ask him to help you find his plan for your life. It's not something they have to make some huge deal out of, you know, you don't have to get by your bed and, you know, turn off the lights and like, put your hands together and that whole thing, but just pray with them like you're talking to like one of your best friends, you know, like I'm talking to you right now. Pray to God in the name of Jesus and uh, ask Him for whatever you need and according to the Word, He'll provide every need that you have if you pray according to the Word. Another thing you can do is attend church services. Um, Find a good church where you're going to get fed, where you're going to get something out of service and you're not just going uh, because you, your parents are forcing you or because are out of obligation, but go because you want to go. Uh, that's very important. Next, get baptized in water. We call it going public with your faith. You know, baptism symbolizes what happened, this new birth. You know, we, you know, our old self dying and then being raised up in Christ. And so it's really just a symbol of, you know, this decision you've made and it's really important. It's a way of you identifying with Jesus and his death, burial, and resurrection. A way of signifying that past is the past and you're going forward with God's plan for your life. And then finally, do what we've been doing on the streets. Maybe you pray this prayer with us on the streets uh, this week and you've been directed to our website. We want you to tell others what Jesus has done for you. Maybe if you've had a miracle or a um another kind of testimony you can share that and know it's a real encouragement to people it's like if you got a brand new car you know you don't want to, you wouldn't want to keep that to yourself you would want to tell everybody about it you know it's also important to remember it's not about what you do how you mess up the mistakes you made or how good you are but it's about what Jesus did on the cross uh, and that's what saves you it's not about what you did it's what Jesus did okay it's as simple as following right here this verse Romans 10:9 Confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and you will be saved. The scripture says everyone who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. So you can lead your friends and family members in a short prayer to call upon Jesus, and they can be saved as well. God bless you. Continue on your journey in your relationship with Christ. Continue to grow, and continue in your fellowship with other believers.